Hi, I'm Caprice James, and I am the founder and CEO of Stella's Girls Incorporated. Stella's Girls is a program that focuses on educating and empowering young women and girls to become leaders in their communities. Recently, we just started an initiative called Journey to Manhood that also focuses on young men ages 12 to 18 for mentoring. Stella's Girls Mentoring Program has two components, the Sunflower Project, which focuses on young women, and these young women are paired with peer mentors or with adult mentors. And then we also have an initiative for young men, Journey to Manhood, that focuses on young men who are also paired with men. Both of these mentoring programs provide opportunities for youth to enhance their skills, their self-confidence, their leadership abilities, their academic performance, and really focusing on the personal development goals of them as a young individual as they continue their journey into adulthood. To become a mentor for Stella's Girls, we have two components. For the Sunflower Project, we have peer mentors who go through an application and interview process with our Youth Advisory Council. As an adult mentor, both for the Sunflower Project and Journey to Manhood, you would fill out an application, a program staff would contact you and do conduct an interview, the interview would go to a background check, then we would check on your references, and then there are 12 hours of training. These trainings are important to ensure of the risk management and ensuring that you actually know how to work with your mentee as an individual and not as a parent-child relationship, but a mentor-mentee relationship. To become a mentee of our program, either the Sunflower Project or Journey to Manhood, the application process is pretty simple. A parent or the student can fill out an application and then a program staff would reach out to you. The program staff would then conduct an orientation with the parent and the mentee, which would be conducted with program staff and our Youth Advisory Council. To be matched with a mentor, we take a mentee assessment to identify the goals, hobbies, interests, and what the youth are interested in. With this assessment, we match it with a mentor's assessment who also may have similar interests or are serving in that field that the mentee may be interested in going into. Once the mentee and mentor assessments have been complete, then the matching occurs. Before the matching, we ensure that the parent and the mentor have had an opportunity to meet each other and that any questions that the parent may have of the mentor are complete. After this, then the match process begins and the mentorship relationship begins to form. So our mentors either meet with our mentees either once a week or two times a month. Activities for a mentor and mentee include educational workshops, field trips, and activities with the entire group, both from the Sunflower Project and Journey to Manhood. The activities for the mentor and the mentee are at no cost to the mentee. The program is fully funded and youth ages 12 to 18 years old, both male and female, are eligible for the program. Other youth that are eligible to attend the program, it's really open to everyone. So it doesn't matter where you come from, what your abilities may be, the program is free at no cost to you, the parent and the mentee. We just ask that you come and join us. For more information about our mentoring programs, you can visit Stella's Girls at stellasgirls.org or you can go to all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And we are here to educate, empower, and lead our youth. For your present and our future, don't litter. Do your part and keep Charles County beautiful. Applying for jobs with Charles County government is now easier and more efficient. Visit www.charlescountymd.gov for more information. Hi, I'm Lloyd Jansen, the Deputy Director for the Charles County Public Library, and we're really excited about the Imagination Library of Charles County program because this is going to put books in the hands of children under the age of five who live in Charles County and help them build their own personal home library. Now, many studies have shown over the years that 
having books in the home and reading to children at an early age increases school readiness and improves academic achievement. So with this Imagination Library program, once children register, they will receive a free book in the mail every month up until they reach the age of five. Now this program is in partnership with the Dolly Parton Imagination Library and also our friends at the Southern Maryland Regional Library Association. And I can't forget the generous donation to launch the program that was given to us by the citizens for the Charles County Public Library. So with this program, all children under the age of five living in Charles County are eligible and they'll receive a book delivered directly to their home with a personalized label. My name is Glenda Fields and I'm the children's supervisor at the Waldorf West Library. And I'm here to tell you how easy it is to register for the Imagination Library of Charles County. Uh, first, you're gonna to go to our website at ccplonline.org forward slash imagination dash library forward slash. Once you get to that page, you're gonna to scroll to the bottom and you'll see a button that says register today. Once you click on that, it's gonna take you to a page to type in your address, your child's information, and parent, uh, there's a parent section as well. Then you're just gonna hit the submit button and it's just that easy. Online registration is the easiest and quickest way to register. However, we do have another option. We have the paper form registration. You can download the English version or the Spanish version. Or you can simply come into one of our branches and we have hard copies available. Uh, just ask a staff member and we'd be happy to, to assist you with that. Once you register, your registration, your child's registration is going to go through an approval process. And once your child's registration is approved, then they are ready to receive those free books. The first book takes about six to 10 weeks to arrive. And that's because the books are not stored at some warehouse. These books are not printed until the orders are submitted. So your child gets a fresh copy specifically made for them. Now, after they receive their first book, they will receive uh, a book every month until they reach the age of five. One other thing I want to mention is that when you fill out the registration, there's an option for a parent account. That's important because if you should have to move, your books are not going to automatically be forwarded to your new address. You need to go into your account and update your address. Or you can give a call at one of our branches and we'll be happy to update your address. Now while this program is absolutely free to children and their families and they're under no obligation, there is a cost to the library. So the Charles County Public Library is relying on the generosity of the Charles County community for us to be able to continue this program. If you'd like information on how you can donate to help support the Imagination Library of Charles County, you can go to our website, ccplonline.org slash imagination dash library or just search for the Charles County Public Library, hit our webpage, and click on the link uh, on the banner for the Imagination Library program. Remember, reading to a child every day is one of the best ways to set them up for success in school and in life.